You're watching the News for San Antonio Tailgate Special, brought to you by HEB. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our News for San Antonio Tailgating Special. We are all here to make sure that you are ready for Super Bowl today. Yeah. Uh, the New England Patriots will be taking on the Seattle Seahawks. This is going to happen in Glendale, Arizona. As many folks know, it's going to be at this stadium, the University of Phoenix Stadium. As you can see, plenty of fog in the area. I'm sure many people are hoping that that clears off, and the way things work in Arizona, as chances are pretty good. By later on this evening, when the game will be happening, many hours from now, it will be a and all clear there in Arizona. And it's foggy there like it is here right now, but despite that, we are all yep. over San Antonio covering the festivities for you. Jessica is out there at the Hofbrau checking out some pre-party preps. <laughs> Can't wait for that. And Cletho is at HEB to show us what you may want to pick up ahead of the Cletho. game, already sampling. And before we want to get to all the details, we're going to get to the forecast with Jeanette in just one moment. Of course, as you can see, we're not wearing <laughs> either, either Seahawks team. or Patriots <laughs> jerseys no. are no. we were kind of hoping the uh Cowboys made it to the Super Bowl. We now know that, of course, that did not happen. And Jeanette, I understand you've got a little bit of a, a surprise for us. Yeah, so people have been wondering, what do I have underneath my jacket? As you guys know, I am from the Northeast. Could it be this Patriots? This is a rated G show, don't you know? <laughs> just saying. Could it be the Patriots? Could it be the Eagles? Could it be the Seahawks? Could it be just a simple Super Bowl 49 t-shirt? Guesses? How about uh, the Giants? Uh, Sorry. Uh, I'm going to say something team. from Philly, right? Yes. Okay, well, okay. So I'm going to go. Are you going to do it now? Because yeah, I've got a now. reveal a little bit later. No, we'll do it okay, do it, girl. Okay. One, two, three. We need a drum roll. <laughs> ah, ah, you have half the team. Nice one. Hey, that's Brian caught that pass, right? He caught it. So this is supposed to be our year, but hey, we continue to cheer them on. Let's see how the weather is shaping up across our area. I know a lot of people are curious as if this fog is going to lift. Are we going to see any additional wet weather? Take a look at what's going on across the nation. Big storm system continuing to push off to the east northeast. A lot of snow on the northern end of it. Notice that we are dry across much of our area, but we expect to see some on and off showers later in the day, perhaps even a thunderstorm in Phoenix around the Phoenix area no wet weather certainly a lot of fog temperatures in our area right now in the 60s and it will stay relatively mild through the Super Bowl Sunday coming up I'll show you if we expect to see any additional wet weather later today all right thank you Jeanette of course millions are going to be watching the Super Bowl 49 not only here in the U.S. but around the world and if the game lives up to all the hype then we are in for quite a treat tonight and our Don Harris has been in Arizona all week and explains why this Super Bowl may go down in Super Bowl history. Well, good morning, Michael and Leslie. It is Super Sunday, finally. We have been here over a week. We have seen all the interviews, all the hype, and finally, it's time to kick off the game right here at the University of Phoenix Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. As of course, you know, the kickoff is coming up later on News 4 San Antonio at 5.30. Now, all week long, we've done all the interviews, we've seen all the controversies, and it's finally time to play this game. And if you ask the players, they're ready, because goodness knows, knows we've heard all the hype. From the serious... This is my job. This is my responsibility to protect the integrity of the game. Okay. The ah, Was it a bigger thrill being interviewed by me or the Seahawks cheerleader? <laughs> I'm going to have to go with option B there. To the silent... <laughs> We've seen it all during Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. The media day gave us superheroes and barrel movies. What's under the barrel? Free and easy, man. And language baby. Is uh, American football big in Tokyo? Oh, uh, yeah. Really? Who's the, the most popular team? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not, uh, you know, I, I don't know what's so the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, <laughs> yes, Super Bowl week has seen it all, and this may have been the craziest Super Bowl week ever. So from the flake gate to the silent treatment, controversy is everywhere. I'll come to y'all event, y'all shove cameras and microphones down my throat. With thousands of reporters around the world all wanting to talk about those two things, we found that a way to the player's best soundbite is through his stomach. So let's talk food. My ultimate meal? You know what? I am in love with chicken and waffles. I've always been a pork chops and gravy type guy. Butter's good for the soul. Not, not necessarily good for the heart, but good for the soul. I mean, he says he puts two sticks of butter in everything. He said he did what? Yeah, puts two sticks of butter in everything. See, I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> <laughs> As it turns out, Cam Chancellor is a great guy, a good cook, and a former high school quarterback. Which reminded me, did his coach?
cousin once played for Lee or your long lost cousin, David Chancellor? Who's that? David Chancellor. Who's that? Uh, you know, shout out to uh, David Chancellor, man. Bam, bam. Name but love, man. <laughs> We actually had a lot of fun with those guys all week long, but finally kickoff is here. Well, almost, and again, we're going to have it for you coming up at 5.30. We'll also have complete coverage of this game after the game on News 4 San Antonio tonight at 10 o'clock. In Arizona at the Super Bowl, Don Harris, News 4 San Antonio. Nice work, Don. Yes, the countdown definitely on with the game just hours away. You may be trying to set up your own Super Bowl party right now. But if you need a few last-minute items before the game, our Cleto Rodriguez can help you out. He is out at HEB this morning gearing up for the big game. Good morning, my friend. Good morning. I don't know if you see this wonderful brand new Super Bowl shirt that the one and only Leslie Bow went ahead and did for me. Look at that. That is exactly right. I'm geared up for the Super Bowl. I'm actually here at the brand new HB at Oaks Crossings. I'm here with Nick, who is the store director here. Now, Nick, let's say I'm just waking up and I need to get stuff going for Super Bowl. I have some friends coming over. Talk to me. What I need to do here? Well, good morning. It's good morning. Great to, excited to have you guys out here at the market at Stone Oak. It's one of our new HBs out here at Wilderness Oak and Very Hardy nice, Oak. by the way. Very nice. Thank you for it. It's a beautiful store. Mm -hmm. If you're just waking up and you need to throw a party, we got everything you need right here today at HEB. Start with our fresh in-house made guacamole. Make it fresh every single day. We hand cut the avocados, mix the ingredients together, and it's ready to go. Have you tried some already? Uh, yes, I have, and it's very delicious, by the way. What else do you have here? We got uh, fresh deli pizzas here ready to go. Uh, every pepperoni is counted and measured, and, we're, and it's ready to rock. It'll be a perfect bake. Take it home. It's ready to go. Got a $2 coupon. Tell me a little bit about the uh, salsa contest you guys got this Super Bowl. Absolutely. We're excited. This is that Name That Salsa contest. This is a Texas salsa made with fresh tomatoes, onions, garlic, and some special spices. And we want our customers to name that salsa. So there's a contest right now between now and April 14th. You can go to hb.com slash salsa, mm -hmm. and you can name that salsa and tell us why you're naming it that salsa. Really? And the winner announced on June 1st is going to win $5,000 and their name will be on the salsa with their story along with it and every HEB in the company. Awesome. Well, this just in, guys. We went ahead and checked the pressure on this football. On these breads that are looking like footballs, they are inflatable all the way. Super Bowl ready, guys. We got plenty more here from the HEB uh, Oaks Crossing and when we come back, I'm actually going to go ahead and give the name. I think the winner of this salsa. You're going to want to you want to stick around for that. All right, guys, send it back to you. Looking good, Cleto. <laughs> Thank yes. you, Super Cleto. I'm hungry already, yes. yes. Love the Super uh -huh. Cleto. Well, a lot of us are really good armchair quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. Well, watching the game, have you ever really thought, hey, I could do that? I know who does. I think it all the time. <laughs> yes, so we put that to the test. We put on our exercise clothes to see if we could hang with a semi-pro player. Yeah, we got some help from a longtime fitness trainer who just retired from semi-pro football. That's Maurice Walton. He humored us by putting us through some Drills at Athletic Republican Bernie. All right, get ready to laugh. Oh boy, check it out. Football is a lot of explosive movements. Stretching is very important. But you want to warm up first for about five or seven minutes to get the blood flowing. So we're we're gonna warm up. So it's still ten. ten. Yeah. <laughs> Within minutes on the elliptical, the muscles were definitely warm. Bordering on hot. Follow me, please. Oh, done. There okay, we can go home now. <laughs> First step we're going to put you through is we're going to put you through the agility ladder. It's going to help you with your speed and quickness and um, be able to change direction. Then we're going to put you on the power treadmill over here to help you increase your speed so you're literally your speed. Then we're going to put you over here on the, the pro agility cone drill we're going to do, um, lateral movement as well. Then we're going to teach you how to throw the ball for accuracy, you know, um, as far as being a quarterback. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, you might be a little sore tomorrow, but I'll get over it. All right. <laughs> Yep, no, nope, don't no, back out. Nope. No. Put it goes in the box. There you go. Perfect. Now she's got it. There you go. You push come back. See what you made of. Next. 
NFL Combine. They teach you to, to measure your speed. You go here, touch, sorry, touch, and then sprint out the other side. Two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. discovered an inconsistency. I was touching this ball as soon as I got here, and I, I hate to ask you this, because I don't want you to feel like Tom Brady, but is there enough air in this ball? And who, who, who inflated it? To my knowledge, this ball isn't played properly. <laughs> really? <laughs> Probably the only thing deflated here may be our egos. Of course, Maurice makes it look easy. The ladies needed a little extra coaching. Okay, come over the top. Uh -huh. The last thing to touch the ball is his finger, so you get more of a spiral. Better. Okay, now she got a little excited. <laughs> when our athletic prowess faltered a bit, we tried a diversion. Maybe if we looked more like a football player, we would play more like one. Cover up the bags. There we go. Got him. Get very little sleep. There, that'll look so much better. Can I just walk around like this all the time? Negative. No? Okay. Is this going to make me better? Negative. <laughs> By having run at an incline, it's called overspeed training. Overspeed training allows you to run faster on an incline, so when you go on a flat surface, you're able to translate that to run faster on the ground. Go Patriots, go. The treadmill energized us so we could finish strong with a touchdown and a little showboating. At that point, we felt like we were ready to run a play. It's fourth quarter. It's five seconds left on the clock. Okay. I want the ball. You no, know, you've had a rough game so far. So <laughs> I'm not, don't give I'm up not, on me I'm now. I'm not sure if I can you know, depend on you this time. So you got to make a play. You got to make a play. Okay, Leslie, you gotta get in front of somebody, block somebody. All right. I mean, you've been yeah. getting knocked over all game, <laughs> but this is your chance to stand up for yourself. Okay, well, am, so I going, am I going to Burger King? No, you're not going to Burger King. <laughs> um, you're a decoy. Okay. 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 One, two, three. Who's <laughs> four? <laughs> Set. Teamwork. We had a lot of fun. Were yes, you sore? Was, yeah. Were you sore? I yes. was the next. The treadmill killed me. The treadmill was a challenge. I was like, I'll two days that. later is when the soreness uphill hit. treadmill, not fun. We got no. there. Yeah, and thanks, Maurice, for putting us through and humoring us yes. a little bit. All right, okay. I know that I got to get get over. The Cowboys are not in the Super Bowl, so here's our Super Bowl shirt. <laughs> this is the <laughs> only it. day out of the year that my name really makes sense yes, with a big Super event. Bowl. It's a Super Bowl with a W, Super Bowl with an H. I Good love event. it. There you go. Nice work. So anyway, that was a lot of fun. Yep. It was. Thank you, Maurice. Yeah, he did a great job. He did. All right, moving on. <laughs> All right, coming up, we are going to continue our tailgate special ahead of Super Bowl 49. There's Jessica with her Super Old Jess shirt. She's over at the Hofbrau on the northwest side, and they are getting ready for the big game there, so stay with us. And I think Seattle will win the Super Bowl. They're a tougher, meaner team. So you don't want those Patriots in their cheating ways. <laughs> they're nice guys, and the quarterback's the most, well, probably the most beautiful quarterback <laughs> in the league, and really a great quarterback. But I like the toughness of Seattle.